Hello and welcome to this Velux Daylight Visualizer tutorial. In this video, I will briefly introduce you to the user interface. You'll see that it's set up in a very simple and user-friendly way. Let's start by taking a look at the top of our workspace. There are several tabs, each representing a step in the visualization process. The first thing we need to do is to draw the walls of our building. Then, we need to select a roof type, and then a location for our building. The next step is to choose from a selection of windows and doors to add to our building. Then, we must assign materials to each surface type in our model. After that, we can optionally add some furniture. We move on to the camera tab, where we select the view that we wish to visualize. When all these steps have been completed, we're ready to render images of the daylight conditions in our building. Now let's take a look at the menu box at the bottom of our workspace. This menu will always be relevant to the tab that we're in. For example, now I'm in the Surface tab, so I have a list of materials to select for the different building elements. On the bottom right of our workspace, there's a box with instructions that will adjust according to the task that you're working on. These can be quite useful, especially if you're new to the program. The main model view here is the floor plan. In the two smaller windows on the right, we have a 3D view and a section plan. To adjust the size of these windows, simply drag their edges. To zoom in or out in either of these views, simply scroll up or down while the cursor is in the view you wish to adjust. Let's take a closer look at each of these three views. On the floor plan, there's a grid which you set at the very beginning of each project. The model elements will snap to the grid, so make sure you select the size that's convenient for you. Now, notice the two blue lines that cross the floor plan. These are the section lines. The thicker line is the one shown in the section view window. Simply click on the line that you wish to preview. You can also drag the section line to another position. Notice how the section view will automatically update. There are five tools on the top left of the floor plan view. I will quickly demonstrate how they are used. The first one is the pan tool. Click on it and then use it to drag the floor plan across the view window. The next two tools are used for zooming in and out. But this can also be done by scrolling. The next tool is for zooming to the extents of the model. It will zoom in or out until the entire floor plan is visible without much empty space in the background. The final tool is for measuring distances. To use it, simply click on a starting point and drag along the distance you wish to measure. If you have selected a specific tool and wish to return to the default mode, simply click on Escape. Now let's move on to the 3D view window. Here it's possible to pan by left-clicking and dragging, and to zoom in or out by right-clicking and dragging. Of course you can always zoom in or out by scrolling. Now let's take a look at the five tool buttons. The first three, zoom in, out, and zoom to extents, are familiar from the floor plan view tools. The fourth tool changes the view from wireframe to shaded surfaces, and the final tool does exactly the opposite. And finally, let's look at the section view. The tools here are exactly the same as in the floor plan view. The pan tool, zoom in, zoom out, zoom to extents, the measuring tool. The blue line crossing the section refers to the height of the floor plan view. You can adjust this height by dragging the blue line up or down. Of course, in this case, there won't be any change because there's only one floor level. And that was the end of the introduction to the Valix Daylight Visualizer interface. Thank you for watching this tutorial.